What is going on guys, it's Wade here with Tungscat Gaming and Sports and we are back with our very first mock draft episode. Uh, we are doing a 10 team mock draft on Yahoo Sports, of course PPR. Uh, I am in a league on Yahoo so I am going to do one on Yahoo. And I'm actually drafting with my friend Aaron, he's got the one spot right here and I got the four spot, my name is you. So we will be drafting here. And uh, I decided to go with four because I think this is really going to be your first tough decision. Do you go with, you know, Alvin Kamara, Dalvin Cook, or at running back, or do you decide to go with Michael Thomas at wide receiver? I'm leaning more towards the running back, uh, but of course, I'm not sure yet. Everything changes in motion. Um, as you see the roster positions, it is a quarterback, two wide receiver, two running back, tight end, a utility spot, kicker, and a defense. All right, five seconds left. Looks like we will have three auto pickers. That's all right. Um, we're really just doing it just to get a basis of what is going on. For Yahoo's mock drafts, you do have 30 seconds, so you've got to be quick with it. And there we go, Christian McCaffrey taking number one. Um, let's see, I like this view. This view is pretty easy to see what we've got going on. Christian McCaffrey, Saquon Barkley goes number two. Let's see who is going to go number three. I'd imagine it probably will be Ezekiel Elliott. And I will stay true. I will take Alvin Kamara. Because I think that should be what you do. Get those top four running backs. And then, you know, that's where your, your main questions are going to come from. Uh, Derrick Henry does go. So we'll go ahead and look here and see what the rest of the uh, first round and into the second round fills out Clyde Edwards Hilaire Yeah, where do you take the rookie running back? I definitely think six is probably the earliest you consider him uh, Dalvin Cook he did come back to he didn't hold out so maybe Dalvin Cook gets the edge over Edwards Hilaire uh, Because I, I a full season of Cook should be extremely extremely good uh, But Michael Thomas going at eight. That's pretty nice right there. So, so far, there's nothing crazy happening right now. I think this will be pretty... Oh, my little... I need to move this. There we go. Needed to make that just a bit more smaller. Okay. Um, so, Michael Thomas goes at 7. We got Dalvin Cook, then Joe Mixon, Tyreek Hill, Julio Jones, back-to-back -back wide receivers. That's pretty good right there. Josh Jacobs. So, Michael Thomas going at 7. That's not too bad. All right, I am just two picks away, so let me go see what players I've got coming up. Kenyon Drake, Miles Sanders, DeAndre Hopkins, George Kittle, Travis Kelsey, Austin Eckler. Uh, man, I'm probably leaning. Well, I don't. Maybe Miles Sanders get myself another running back. I do have him. Well, unfortunately, he did get taken. I do have Hopkins, George Kittle, Travis Kelsey. That'd be kind of nice. Chris Godwin. See, I have Godwin at six. Yeah, I don't want to reach for any of these running backs. I am going to go ahead and take Hopkins as my first wide receiver. I thought about Travis. I would actually take Kelsey over Kittle, in my opinion. Um, let me go look at my team real quick. There we go. So we got DeAndre Hopkins, Alvin Kamara starting off. That's pretty good. I mean, you're not going to – there's nothing too crazy right there. So George Kittle does go after me, and Patrick Mahomes goes in the second round, late second. Uh, Aaron, he went with Christian McCaffrey, Austin Eckler, and then Travis Kelsey. That's a pretty good start right there. If you do trust Austin Eckler, the only thing that just a little bit concerns with Austin Eckler is, of course, the uh, quarterback change. So how will that work out? But he should – be fine PPR wise should get a bunch of drop offs and and should be ready to go uh, running back if I wanted a running back probably James we got James Connor Todd Gurley um, Leonard Fournette way down there Le'Veon Bell so the running backs David Johnson actually the running backs on Yahoo are pretty far down so that will probably change my strategy I mean, I could reach for Carson, but I do really like Chris Godwin here. If I could get him, I do have him at, what, number six, I believe. 
So I like him over Allen Robinson. I like him over Kenny Galladay. Definitely over Odell and Adam Thielen. So I will be... Oh, it's my turn to draft. Oh, my gosh. There was no there was no bell. I didn't hear anything. So uh, that's how I start. I got Alvin Kamara, DeAndre Hopkins, and Chris Godwin. Uh, I think that's a really good start right there. Of course, Hopkins, a lot of people do think he is going to bust this year. I don't think he's going to bust. He's an elite, elite talent. He's going to be the number one over there. I trust Hopkins that he will get it done. He got it done enough with Brock Osweiler. You're telling me he can't get it done with Kyler Murray, who's even better. Maybe it takes a little bit. Maybe the first couple weeks he struggles. So maybe he becomes a trade target if he does struggle. But I can't imagine him not succeeding in the back half of the season. And then, of course, Chris Godwin should be good with Tom Brady and Alvin Kamara. As long as Kamara, he, apparently Kamara, like, tore his MCL a little bit, something of that nature. And he still finished really well. So getting a healthy Alvin Kamara is going to be key to having a great year. All right, my pig is just right around the corner. 20 seconds left. This guy, oh, this is the uh, the auto draft guy. Uh, and then Calvin Ridley, Yeah. Over Todd Gurley, over for Jonathan Taylor. I mean, I do have Amari Cooper ranked higher than Ridley, just by one point, but uh, I like Ridley more than Cooper. So we'll go ahead and take Calvin Ridley. Let's see who Aaron takes with his back-to-back uh, -back selection. I will be targeting a running back here, though, so let me go ahead and go to running backs. Because I do just want to see the running backs. Oh, that's interesting. Lamar Jackson lasted until the first pick of round four that's probably the latest I've seen him go um and that's really where I would start drafting a quarterback like that would be round four I want to take him before round four I mean unless you really want to you know some people say oh you should never take a quarterback in round one round two I mean sure technically maybe you shouldn't maybe you should wait to draft a quarterback but it's fancy football if you want to take a quarterback if you want to cheer for your guy who the heck cares it's it's not that big of a deal so he does go Amari Cooper um, and then who is Aaron going to pair with him? I think he'll take another wide receiver here. Nope, I'm not looking at my receivers. I'm looking at running backs. All right, who are you thinking, Aaron? Robert Woods. All right, I'll, that's that's solid right there. So uh, Aaron's got a core. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, Austin Eckler, Travis Kelsey, Mark Cooper, Robert Woods. That's a really good core, actually. Of course, I'm not... I don't love Amari Cooper, but... If he does play like he did at the beginning of the first half of the season, he will be good. Of course, Travis Kelsey is a receiver practically in his own right. And then uh, running backs, Mark Ingram, Leonard Fournette, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson. There's a lot of running backs I like right here. Uh, I'm going to be targeting probably David Johnson, Le'Veon Bell, if I can get them. Especially if I can get both these guys on the wraparound. I do think they're actually going to bounce back. And I'll take my chances on them that they do bounce back. I really hope David Johnson does for the sake of the Houston Texans, of course. And I am going to go ahead and take David Johnson. And then one of these running backs should come back to me. I'm not too worried about that. All right, I am two picks away. So let's see what we have going on right now. Uh, let's see running backs. I do want to get another running back and actually Devin Singletary starting running back for the Buffalo Bills. I do have him ranked. He is 24 23 right right there at the edge. I Could take a wide receiver right now. It is my turn to draft but see, I like all these wide receivers, so I think I'm just going to let whichever one fall to me. And I am going to go ahead and take Devin Singletary here. And now, I think I feel pretty confident, so I don't have to worry about a uh, wide receiver or running back as much now. So, all right, let's see what Aaron is going to do here. He's probably going to take another wide receiver. He might, even he might go back-to-back -back wide receiver right here. He could go quarterback. I'm not sure. So T.Y. Hilton, not bad right there. I do like T.Y. Hilton. I think he's going to have a much better year with Phillip Rivers. As T.Y. Hilton hasn't had, as last year, he didn't have Andrew Luck throwing him the ball. So he'll now have another competent quarterback. 
He goes DeAndre Swift. That's not bad. I was looking at DeAndre uh, Swift as well. Let me see what other running backs there are. Cam Akers, Ronald Jones, James White. No, see, see, none of those running backs scream out to me just yet as I think I'd rather take a wide receiver right here because I can still get Devontae Parker who I, or Keenan Allen. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and take Keenan Allen because I have him. I think he's the last one of my tier of tier two wide receivers. And he's actually going to be on my bench, actually. Yeah, Devin Singletary and Keenan Allen are both on my bench. All right, so it is actually getting into tight end slash quarterback time as round seven, we had three quarterbacks go. And then we've had two tight ends go at round eight. And then we also had another one go at round seven. So as you can see, the, these other fantasy guys we're playing with are trying to fill out their roster. There's nothing wrong with that. If you feel like you want to fill it out at defense here, okay, that's that's silly. There's no reason for a defense. Okay, but wide receivers, I can get another wide receiver. I can get another running back. And are there any running backs? Mm. Oh, gosh, I got 15 seconds. I think I'm going to go ahead and take Phillip Lindsay because if Melvin Gordon does go down with an injury, Phillip Lindsay is going to be that next guy up and... I still think Philip Lindsay should be able to contribute fine in PPR leagues since he will only be able to focus probably on receiving. He might actually even be better too. So it's not too crazy to take a risk on him. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, there are, are a couple good positive notes coming out of Baltimore saying that he's looking really good. But Mark Ingram is the veteran there in front of him. and I just don't see J.K. Dobbins surpassing Mark Ingram unless there is an injury just because Mark Ingram is gonna has been getting it done day in and day out for the past four or five years now I mean with the Saints and then with uh, with the Ravens last year so Aaron he did go Marquise Brown and Tyler Boyd back to back so he is really filling out his wide receivers and we had we had three defenses be taken in round eight. Oh, I guess those are auto picks. That's probably why. Auto pick is probably taken defenses. So let's see. We'll look at wide receivers. Marvin Jones still there. Jarvis Landry, Julian Edelman, Manuel Sanders. And let me look at tight ends just to see. Evan Ingram, Hayden Hurst, Rob Gronkowski, Mike Jasicki, Austin Hooper, John U. Smith. So I do have some of these tight ends ranked, but I don't think I need to take them now. Although I could if I wanted to. I just I don't feel the need to. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and take Marvin. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and take Marvin Jones. As that'll be a good wide receiver who if he happens to have if he starts off strong and maybe I need another uh, running back, you know, maybe I want to upgrade David Johnson or Devin Singletary. You know, I can park package Marvin Jones and Keenan Allen together, and maybe get a pretty good running back. You never know. All right, so I am three picks away, two picks away now, and I have a guy I'm targeting. That's going to be Antonio Gibson, uh, running back for the running back slash wide receiver ish for the Washington Washingtons. Since the Redskins or Redskins, since sorry, oh I'm so sorry I said Redskins. Please, please don't kill me. Uh, since the Washington Washingtons did release, um, oh Darius guys for for hitting women and stuff. And Adrian Peterson and Antonio Gibson are pretty much the only two running backs back there. So they should, I, I think Antonio Gibson should be a fun player to watch over and have. I am kind of rising on him. And it's the 10th round. Uh, is it round 10? Yeah, it's round 10. So you can kind of take your guys when you want to now. Okay, now, oh, Alex. Alex is auto-picking. I was about to say, why would you take two quarterbacks? Uh, see, this is kind of annoying whenever you do mock drafts. Because the auto picks, they just go out the haywire. They fill out the roster. They don't make any sense. So it is kind of annoying when auto picks like this do happen. Because obviously in your real draft, I don't think anyone is going to take a kicker in a defense in round 8 or 9. If they do, thank them for doing that. Because that's just going to let more players be available. Aaron, you got 5 seconds. What are you going to do? Matthew Stafford. Okay. Actually, I probably could look at uh, quarterbacks because it is getting kind of late. 
I can see what quarterbacks are available. And Tariq Cohen, that is a fine spot for him. Quarterbacks, Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger, and Rodgers. Uh, Cam Newton, Joe Burrow. There are... See, I'm going to actually take Tom Brady here. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and take Tom Brady is because I do have Chris Godwin. And I do want the possibility for double points. And what is double points? What is that? Well, that is where you stack your quarterback and your wide receiver, or quarterback and running back, or quarterback and tight end, where if they throw a touchdown, hopefully they throw it to your wide receiver or tight end or running back. Because then you get six points or four points for a touchdown. So that actually doesn't look too bad. I am enjoying this team quite a bit. All right, I've got three picks until my turn, and I have a player targeted that I actually have never had in fantasy football. And he's a WWE belt champion and that is Rob Gronkowski I do have him queued up I I think I actually might go uh take him in a real draft just just mainly for fun I'm not one of those guys who um is big on taking an early tight end so I don't mind streaming tight end and kind of struggling with that position position to say so although I do have Jasicki and Johnny Smith ranked above Rob Gronkowski I uh I am gonna go ahead and take him because guess what He's also on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I do have Tom Brady. So if he doesn't throw it to Chris Godwin, maybe he'll throw it to Rob Gronkowski, especially in the end zone. All right, Damon Harris, welcome to this squad. And we are oh so close to finishing up. We got two picks remaining. All right, it is my turn is right around the clock, and I actually have a couple, a couple people queued up. Um... So I've got Keyshawn Vaughn queued up, running back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Wide receivers, i got Jalen Rieger, Miko Hardman, and Justin Jefferson. And I'm going to go ahead and take Jalen Rieger for the Philadelphia Eagles, as they always seem to have wide receiver problems. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, because he might end up becoming the number one on the Philadelphia Eagles. And then I think I might go ahead and take Miko Hardman here as a wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs. Playing with Patrick Mahomes, that's got to be a smart move. That's got to be a good pick, I'd imagine. So hopefully I can get him. If not, it's probably either going to be Justin Jefferson or I will take that running back, Keyshawn Vaughn. Let's see, Aaron, how are you going to finish up your draft? The Denver defense. So he does go ahead and take a defense. And is he going to take a kicker? Probably. And he takes... <laughs> That he takes Matt Gay as his kicker. I will go ahead and trap me Cole Hardman. And that finishes up my team and Aaron's team. So let's go ahead and take a look at Aaron's team first. All right, Aaron. Uh, also, thanks, Aaron, for drafting with me. I had a great time. I hope you had fun. Thanks for spending the 10, 15 minutes it was. And I can't wait to be a part of your real draft in a couple weeks. All right, so Aaron, you took Matthew Stafford as your quarterback. He's got Amari Cooper, Robert Woods as his wide receivers. Running back, he's got Christian McCaffrey and Austin Eckler, and then tight end Travis Kelsey. I almost took Kelsey instead of um, instead of Hopkins. So props to you, Aaron, for pulling the trigger. And then he's got T.Y. Hilton as his utility man. And then he has a bench of DeAndre Swift, Marquise Brown, Tyler Boyd, Tariq Cohen, Latavius Murray, Tevin Coleman, and then Matt Gay as the kicker, and then uh, the Denver defense. So that is a really good team. I'm not a huge Amari Cooper fan, but like I said, he's on the Cowboys. Dak Prescott likes him. They paid him a ton, and he probably will end up doing good. T.Y. Hilton, definitely I really like this pick as well because I do think he's going to bounce back with Phillip Rivers. And then tight end. You gotta love that tight end advantage you're gonna have Aaron with Travis Kelsey. So if you had this team, I would maybe try to package it together something to get a little bit better running back in Austin Eckler. It would be, if you could uh, trade Austin Eckler and T.Y. Hilton for maybe Josh Jacobs, I would be all over that just to solidify that running back position for you. But other than that, I do think it is a good, uh, good draft, Aaron. Uh, and then moving on to my team, do have Tom Brady at quarterback, Hopkins and Chris Goodwin at wide receiver, Alvin Kamara, David Johnson at running back, Rob Gronkowski as my tight end. Let's go, Gronk. 
Uh, wide receiver, uh, uh, running back, tight end spot, Calvin Ridley. And then my bench consists of Devin Singletary, Keenan Allen, Philip Lindsay, Marvin Jones, Antonio Gibson, Damon Harris, Jalen Rieger, and me, Cole Harbin. As I did not draft a kicker or defense, I will just drop two of those positions, those random guys, to pick up a kicker or defense. And then also, I could try to do a trade before the season begins, try to trade three for two, two for one, to try to bring in a better player. So, of course, the area I'm lacking tight end, obviously, because I didn't spend an early round pick on, on Travis Kelsey or George Kittle. But if Gronkowski catches eight touchdowns, that should be fine. If he catches six touchdowns, that might even be fine. Um, David Johnson, I am. Maybe it's just the Texan in me, but I really do hope David Johnson bounces back. If he does, this will be a great selection. If not, I will be struggling at the running back position. But maybe Devin Singletary can solidify that. But other than that, I do like this team. We will move and try different mock drafts on different sites. Of course, ESPN, NFL, maybe Sleeper, um, just to try out different strategies and different positions. I will probably will all do 10-team as that is usually what I play. Um, I'm not opposed to 8 or 12. I just do like 10. And uh, make sure you come back Monday as we will have another mock draft video. This has been Way with Twin Sky Gaming Sports. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to share and turn on the bell so you don't miss out on all of my notifications. Make sure, but God above all, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.